In the evening, Alice sat on her grandfather's knees and listened to his stories of faraway places. When he had finished, Alice would say, when I grow up, I too will go to a faraway places. And when I grow old, I too will live beside the sea. That is all very well, little Alice, said her grandfather, but there is a third thing you must do. What is that? asked Alice. You must do something to make the world more beautiful, said her grandfather. All right, said Alice, but she did not know what that could be. In the meantime, Alice got up, washed her face, and ate her porridge for breakfast. She went to school and came home and did her homework. And pretty soon, she was growing up. Hi, I'm, my name is Monica K, and you are at Books with Monica, where I read some of your favorite book and read some of mine. Today, I was so thrilled uh, to reconnect with one of my children, book of my childhood time, Miss Rumpus. I always loved uh, and had such cherished memory with this book because it was one of the audiobooks that my mom at that time when uh, we were traveling back and forth between the states and Korea um, at that time I was born in the states I moved back to Korea when I was young and so the only way I would be able to continue to practice English was ha listening to a lot of the audiobooks and back in the day I'm kind of aging myself uh, the audiobooks is not like your handy dandy phone here right but it was all uh, the cl cassette tapes and so uh, what my mom would to do is like bring the cassette tapes and record a copy that she borrowed from the library so that way we can listen to it when we went to sleep and this happened to be one of the books that we recorded because well the voice was fantastic but the story as you heard a little bit uh, is beautiful and it always got me thinking about not only are the visuals fantastic I mean look at that wouldn't you want a home like this but also just the reminder that changing people's lives and making this world a beautiful place doesn't mean that you have to be somebody who creates a whole new tech product. You do it the way you can, wherever you are. And that message was so powerful. And having listened to that every other night, going to bed, practicing my English to keep my uh, English accent um, while I was growing up in Korea when I was young, really helped me think, I think, dream bigger. And bolder to wonder, whatever I do, I have no idea, but how can I serve others. How, what can I do to make the world a better place and a more beautiful place? And I share this because I think often we underestimate the power of children's book. I mean, this is one classic example. Uh, I has received a lot of amazing awards and uh, still is available. You should get a copy of it for yourself, uh, not just for your kids, because the messages leave hope, create hope. And often I think we forget about that power. Uh, storytelling is such an important component as well as planting hope and helping others dream. And I think that's one of the things that Miss Rumpus did for me uh, in my childhood as I was growing up to know that you can make a world a beautiful place no matter what that means for you. And so wherever you're right now, as an innovator, as an entrepreneur, or as a leader, or as an individual, I want you to know that you, you have a choice to make. Uh, whether it's getting inspiration from different places, uh, reading different books, but also in what you do in life. And so while you might be scratching your head wondering, like uh, Alice said here in the character, not knowing what that could be, your intention can make a difference. And so with that today, I send you off in thinking about what indeed would you want to do to make a world a better place? Share me some thoughts and I'd love to hear from you while I'm wondering that same question every day. So check it out, Miss Rumpus, and I'll see you later at another episode. This is Monica King from Books with Monica.